Okay guys, welcome back. I haven't done anything. I just walked a bit. Um, I think I'm gonna set up my base right over there because we got oil here. Which isn't much oil, but you know, we can use it. Over there is a new fish, which I haven't checked out. We got the pitcher over there. And we got a jungle over there. And we got piggies here. Uh, basically, if you want to get here, if you walk that way, uh, you get to the beach and then you get to the... the that we are the... What you call it? The swamp, the green swamp land that's over there. We're gonna go the other way, quickly check out the other village, see if we got some special houses there. Because we could use some armor, or some diamonds, or redstone, or whatever. Because I wanna go mining this, this episode. Well, not all the time with you guys, but I just wanna quickly start off with you guys, with us. Ooh, it's half in the water. That's quite cool. Wait. Let's just put it on minimal. I hate fog. Is there anything here? Nope. I don't think this. Oh, we got carrots. That's nice. And we got some more, or I mean potatoes, of course. Sorry for that. And here are the carrots. We got a butcher. I think that's a butcher at least. All the farms. Man, these villages have a lot of farms. They're definitely hungry. can get there, the last house we want to check out. Is this an apiary? No, it isn't. Okay, that's too bad. Don't get into the water. We got some... Oh, we got some more carrots over there. Which I was trying to get, but I fell. Let's see, we got a sheep over there, and some more houses randomly placed in the water. Did we forgot to check. Oh, that's quite cool. Nice balcony. Oh, I think didn't think we checked this house. Oh, we got a library, Bra librarian, which is nice for some books. Okay, let's go back this way start our place we know that if we would ever need villagers we can get them there well that's not optimal food source okay it doesn't matter I just want to get over here come on go up guess we can start here. Let's go down. And make ourselves a temp temporarily hut. Okay. So I'm uh, gonna go mining and when I'm back I'm gonna show you the ores I found. And if I made some tools, I'm gonna show you those as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, just got back from my mining trip. And I found quite some stuff. And I stopped at the moment that I had enough. Which I have now. Because I need, for what I'm gonna do, three diamonds. I'm gonna need some iron. Some smooth stone, which I need to make little bit of redstone and I'm gonna need to find sand first of all let's melt that okay let's see now let's before I'm gonna do that let's show you what I got appetite appetite is from the forestry mod it allows you to make um, what's it called fertilizer which is just a better form of dirt actually um, all these 
the Psychoriums, of course, from Psycraft. Then we got the Shard of Minium. I think that's from, um, what's it called? Um, it's called, let's see, I've got the paper still here. It's from Equivalent Exchange 3, and I got this one from a skeleton which I killed. Uh, then we got some alu aluminum, not sure what that is for. Some monazi, which I never used before. Uh, amber, which I never used before. Uh, silver, which you can make uh, some sort of bulk of. Then we got lead, gold, diamond, ferrous, which is also new to me. Cinnabar, which is also new to me. And then we got these earth shards and water shard. Those are from um, Thumbcraft. Uh, th those have magical powers, you can see here. And this one also, uh, which is uh, which are both very good. We got some coal, of course. Already a stack of green cyclorium. And that's basically it. And quite some tin. And I also had quite some, oh yeah, here, yeah, copper. Um, so that's pretty good what I found. Let's see. Iron. Um, so let's get... S oh, it's night. Crap. Let's try to get some sand without dying. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I cut down the, the tree a little bit. And a little bit black. Did I? Oh my god, a creeper. Well, let's just, let's, let's just let it be there. Let's see. Home. With my favorite color. No, not purple. Blue. Okay, so we got home. So we can find our way back to this little man cave. Let's get our sand. Oh, it's a, it's a small cave. I thought it was some sort of spawner, maybe. Crap, creeper. Oh, thanks for the sand, creeper. Okay, let's go back home. Let's see, it's over there. Okay, now let's make what we want to make. Before we before we can do that, some of you probably know what I'm gonna make. Uh, the idea I have for my base is I'm gonna make a lot of islands, which will um, the storage or the storage part is gonna be uh, using ender chests to move them around. Um, the power part I'm gonna use redstone energy cells which require quite some redstone and you have to move them around yourself but they can hold a lot of energy so I'm planning to use those uh, let's see need to melt this let's get some coal okay so we're gonna have to wait for that uh, we also need to make let's just make two more furnaces so it can go a little bit quicker and we got room for it Go away, torch. Let's go over there. Let's get that out of there. And over there. And that's pretty much all I need for now. Let's see what we got. Glass. We need a little bit more. Let's see if there's something else we can melt already. Hmm. Well, we'll wait with that. Okay, one. Got some stone. Most people, I think, by now know what I need, since I need iron, stone, redstone, glass, and diamonds. Oh, I need to grab some wood as well. And back into my little cave. Oh, we might it. Oh crap, a zombie. He's gonna break our door. Okay, we got enough glass, that's for sure. Okay. Now we're gonna need a little bit more of this. One more. Uh, thank you. I think I got enough now. 
Yep. Okay. And a redstone. And that should give us a computer. It's a basic recipe you're gonna need a lot if you're gonna use computer craft. Now what we're gonna do is Oh crap, I forgot something. We're gonna need more wood. Stupid spider. That's not enough. One more. Okay, that should be enough. Back downstairs. Hiding. Okay. Let's make some planks. And now we're gonna need a chest. Now we can make this. Which should give us a turtle. Yep, we got a turtle. Quite important as well. Now, let's make a diamond pickaxe. Not for me. Nope, it's for my turtle. Because now he can mine whatever he wants. And since he won't lose his uh, pickaxe, he will use it constantly. Let's set up uh, set it up somewhere. Actually, want to wait until it's day. When we got lava over there. We, I might be able to use that. Away. Don't break the door, stupido. Oh, we got another one of those hearts. Weird. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do we have some? Yes, I got some iron on me. Because actually, uh, coal. I think coal only gives like sixty movements. Actually, uh, breaking blocks doesn't cost power for the turtle. It's just uh, moving. Um, and coal gives us 60 moves if, not, if I'm not mistaken and a bucket of lava gives us a thousand moves so I'm definitely going to use lava so let's go over to that pool well the day is coming hello son good to see you again let's get over to that lava I hope it's a lot if it's just one single block it's not gonna be useful oh perfect oh that's great okay let's see if there's not any creeper around because that's gonna be bad so a basic command is refuel it just checks the slot one or it checks any slot if there's any fuel and if there is it will take one so if you put a stack of coal in there it will take uh, just one coal. You can also do refuel all and it's gonna look into his inventory for any possible fuel source and take it all. So if there's like two stacks of coal it will actually take two stacks of coal. Another thing is if you wanna go out of this in the, this stuff you can't use uh, E because you can type now so you have to use uh, escape. Uh, so let's do again refuel all and I think it's actually gonna take the wood as well Yeah, as you can see Wood gives us 15 because we got 30 now. I want to get oh crap not E I want to get a little bit more fuel in that thing Fuel Okay, that should be enough for now Let's go back home without dying hopefully we got some meat so we can cook it up because I love pork chops we off the beef that's probably my favorite food oh and cake of course there's a lot of marble around so that's good I want to use that because it just looks awesome as you can see we are 500 meters from the village we found so we're not that far from spawn Uh, since this day we're just gonna do it here um, the turtle got a few basic commands let's just use the most fun one dance preparing to get down that's what it says and it's as you can see it just makes random movements or it's dancing whatever you wanna call it which is fun of course oh I sh actually shouldn't bro broke him oh wait crap uh, wait uh, slash refuel oh wait not slash of course refuel ah oh, crap 
I'm stupid. Okay, we need to label him, otherwise every time you break him, it's gonna lose all his fuel and other stuff you're gonna put into him. So label, oh, label, set, and now whatever I wanna type, that's gonna be his name. So we're gonna name him slave1. So, uh, now if we break him, it won't uh, use his f lose his fuel. Or programs that we have installed on him that's very good we're gonna need to refuel him again so don't forget to label him definitely don't do that or don't forget it otherwise you're gonna have to have the same problem as I have so let's place it down again Put some lava in it This time not too much, refuel. 5,000 is gonna be just fine. We can actually fuel them up over a million. It doesn't, I don't think it has a max. It's just, you know, it's kind of useless. You'll never get it empty if you're gonna give it a million power. One more. Nope. Oh. Okay, there we go. Ref oh. Refuel. So, that's it. Ah, come on. Options. Way better. I don't like the rain at all. Especially not the sound. So, I'm just gonna turn it off because it's only gonna make it less or more difficult to hear me. Let's go back to our home. Because now, if we place it down, and it's say refuel, see, it still got 5,000. So, damn, I need a new pickaxe. Okay. Uh, I think, oh, here it is. Uh, b beside the dance, which we I showed you now, uh, there's two more commands you're gonna u you need to use. I'm not gonna go into actually programming your own, that's a little bit too difficult. Uh, but there is tunnel oh tunnel and then like two two four six whatever you wanna name it two hundred and whatever um, and what it's gonna do it's gonna make a tunnel of three wide and two high uh, as long as you name it the number so it's like tunnel and then I wanna make it like ten long so I'm gonna do ten and then the tunnel is going to be ten long uh, what I'm going to use now since I'm not underground Mm, I think this place is just right. I'm gonna say excavate. This is the other uh, command you want to have to remind. What this does, it makes uh, a square all the way down to bedrock, unless you stop it before that. <coughs> but uh, you can make the hole that is gonna dig as big as you want. I'm gonna go with five. So what is going to happen is he is going to make a hole of five by five. And with the tunnel command, uh, after a certain time, he is just gonna spit it out on the back since he doesn't have any inventory left. Uh, with the excavate command, however, if you give him a chest at the point where he started, he will actually put in the stuff he will find into the chest, just into the program. That's why I like excavate a lot more than tunnel, because tunnel, uh, when the inventory is full, you will just spit them out in the back. Well, this one will actually go back to the chest and dump all his stuff. Very useful. So let's get some wood so we can make some chests. Uh, one iron chest or a double chest is enough if you are gonna make them five by five. As soon as you make it a little bit bigger, I suggest you put more uh, either a bigger chest because you can put more chests. He will only drop his stuff in the chest behind him. So. Let's make some chests real quick. There we go. And I'm gonna make a new pickaxe for myself. There we go. Let's see, we started them here, so there. And then you can put the second one anywhere you want because it just connects. And that one uh, will be busy for quite a while. 
Um, so I'm gonna go m come back to you when it's almost done or just in another moment. Um, and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do next. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. As you can see, I'm already f looked up engines. See what my options are. Oh, I think I got all the stuff. Uh, because I want to start with, let's see where the stuff is. Somewhere over here. I want to start with the build craft power, which includes the machines that are right somewhere here. Oh wait! Oh here they are. The powered furnace, furnace, pulverizer, sawmill. Induction smelter, magma crucible, liquid transposer. I'm not gonna make them all, of course, but I wanna at least make these two. And of course, an engine, uh, which I will need to expand here. But I'm gonna probably gonna build outside. It's night again. Let me show you where the turtle is by now. It's quite deep already. Didn't came to the point yet of emptying. Oh, he just emptied. Okay. So we found some stuff already. Uh, I'm gonna light it up a bit around here because I'm gonna make small islands and I'm gonna need jetpack to fly from one to another. Uh, because I would, yeah, that's just the plan of how I'm gonna build. I'm gonna make all kind of small islands in the air. I'm just gonna mine out everything I see here. You won't see any land. Well, you see bedrock, but all this is gonna be gone some moment. Uh, but for now, not yet. So, let's see what we need. We need to make a piston. A piston you need for pretty much every engine. Uh, it's the basic thing. You're gonna need it also for some other machines. Um, so, I'm gonna make two. Because I'm gonna need more. Not now, but later. So, let's see. I think I need to, yeah, I need to change those. So we got two pistons. Uh, the basic form of an engine is this. Then you got two gears over here, and then three of the same types over there, as you can see. We got stone gears, which you make from wood gear. This is the basic one from wood. Then you got the stone, which I'm gonna make. Then you got one with iron. You got electric which needs brass gear and brass ingots you got bronze and bronze gear and so on and so on copper gear copper gold nuggets gold plate gear which also from gold nuggets copper copper we already had that one or oh, this actually needs a uh, restaurant transmission coal instead of glass but this is the basic form um, so I am gonna need some stone gears. This basically is one gear, so we need to make two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That should give us the gears, and then we upgrade them to stone. Now we got two stone gears. Gotta place the piston back, a piece of glass, and then we need three stone. There we go, we got a sterling engine, which actually just runs on coal. Oh, we got a creeper. Let's just kill him. Okay, that failed horribly. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Doesn't matter. We're gonna dig it out anyway. He's just helping us. Uh, so let's just place it over here. Mm, I'm gonna make some other stuff immediately before I'm gonna place it because to transfer transfer power we need redstone pipes now let's get to the basic of piping I am gonna need to smelt two iron or gold actually that's not iron we get our pork chops so let's wait for that. Let's see, we got all the other stuff. Okay, that's good. Because I'm gonna make some pipes immediately. Uh, let's go to the pipe part. Pipe. 
So, these are all the pipes. We got from wooden pipe to apiarist pipe to void pipe to sandstone. And we got con conductive, which is for redstone, and we also got waterproof, which is for liquids. Uh, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the basic. We got wooden, which will suck up items if you power them with engines. You can suck up items out of machines. Then you got the iron, which will allow you to uh, lock certain ways. So you can say all the items that go into this pipe will only get and go out on the left side. Uh, then we got the stone pipe, or the cobblestone. You also got the normal stone pipe. Uh, which it's all the same recipe actually, but uh, the normal stone is a bit quicker than the cobblestone and Then we need the gold which is basically a speed up pipe it will make them go faster and That's there is no dirt pipe. I'm just gonna tell you that uh, That's the basic now if you want to make it a redstone pipe, which you can only do with cobble Golden and wood you just have to place a redstone on top of it, and you got a wooden conductive pipe which is just basically a redstone pipe. Um, I'm gonna use wood. And wood is to basically to pick uh, or to take power out of engines, and stone and gold is to transfer. With stone, you lose you lose 0.1 percent of power per pipe, and with gold, it's like 1.0 or 0.001. So I'm gonna use gold simply because it's a lot lot more efficient. Just gonna make four. Um, so that's the basic. Um, and th these you can just connect to uh, to machines to power them. Holy crap! That's not good. Huh? Can we fix this? I guess we can. Yeah, cheating. Okay, so now we're clear. Okay, we're clear. Place the wooden pipe and the engine, and it automatically connects to the pipe. As you can see, we just need to put some coal in there. I don't know if this works. Huh, don't know. Well, anyway, uh, you need to power, or you have to turn them on using levers. I'm just gonna make a bunch of them because we're gonna need them anyway. So, we just put a lever next to an engine. And if you put some fuel in there, it should start running. Yeah, as far as I know, these engines run on anything a, a, a furnace run as well. So, it's just gonna run out of it and then it stops. As you can see, it uh, moves back and forward when it's on. Now, let's place these right, just like. Oh crap! We have to be careful. That's the only problem with pipes; it can overload. Uh, there is an upgrade for that, uh, but that's not what we're going to use for now. As you can see, the engine turns off and it slowly goes away. Um, so what we're gonna have to make now is probably the most important thing. I'm gonna make a pulverizer. This will duplicate duplicate our income. So if you put an iron ore in there, it will give you two iron dust, so you can get two ingots out of here, out of it instead of if you mailed it just one. So we need a pulverizer. If I'm not wrong, there we go. Pulverizer. This is the recipe. We need two copper. A redstone reception coil. So first of all, we'll need let's see, two copper, and we're gonna need one more gold. So let's melt those, and then we're going to need a piston, which I actually didn't know, but I made that one. Still got the piston somewhere. Oh, there we go. Then we need two flint, which I thankfully have. Have. And now, the only thing we need to make as well is the machine frame, which is four iron, a gold, and four glass. So we got four iron, we got to make another gold, and we got the glass. So that's just enough, because actually that's all the iron we still have. 
we have to be careful with that um, so let's make our redstone reception coil there we go uh, then we're going to make our frame which will be just like this and then oh crap like that that should give us a machine frame now let's put them all together if I'm not mistaken it was like this let's see what else do we need oh yeah the flint let's do like this let's get the redstone out of there put that one there and then the flint and we got a pulverizer perfect now let's put that one just you know in front of there now the pulverizer just put in it here and you get the two out of there sometimes you also get an extra that's not like if you put iron in there you're gonna get three iron no it can give you like ferrous dust or you know it's just a small chance then we got the configuration uh, we want to get them all off since we don't use it just for looks oh crap except for this one this is going to be red uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna put our powered furnace in here so if it gives uh, pulverized iron it will automatically go into this chest uh, so it, or into the what you call it into the powered furnace that way it will automatically smelt as well which is just awesome um, so let's make a chest first and that's probably what I'm gonna keep it with for this episode I might check the time and I do some more this is going to be a small progress we're gonna make into this so let's make our powered furnace now let's see how far our turtle is oh it got some water nice so if there is lava there it will it will uh, turn into obsidian which is perfect we can actually jump down but I don't want to go all the way back up which is quite exhausting I might do that off camera so let's see we need a powered furnace which is bricks redstone another redstone reception coil uh, so first of all we're gonna need two more gold and two more copper and we're gonna need four more iron I don't think we got that and we need to melt those bricks I thought we had oh exactly eight lucky me okay, let's put that in there and these in here uh, so I think I'm gonna need to mine some more iron because I need four of them and I don't think I've got that no okay I'm gonna get some iron and I'll be back so see you in a second okay I'm back uh, it's gonna be a quite a long episode this one although it's quite easy what I'm gonna do uh, let's see did I not have a bucket no I still need those that iron oh yeah I want to make a pickaxe um, the sapphire and the green sapphire and the rubies which I don't have you could actually use those to make stuff like uh, pickaxes and mining and uh, shovels and axes swords as well which is really cool so I did spot us some iron but my pickaxe broke there's some iron come on go up Yeah, okay almost it's actually the powered furnace is the last thing I'm gonna do after that I'm uh, gonna go mining and you know smelting them a bit just so you guys so next time I've got some uh, supplies oh some fancy stuff okay let's try to get back up
Mm, this way, some way. I came out of here last time, so I'm guessing I can do that again. One time there was uh, an angry zombie with a sword, which actually almost killed me at one shot. Perhaps he's gonna do it again. Oh! Knew it. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna get my stuff, and I think I'm gonna continue next time. So, see you guys next time. Bye, bye.